Eat that sandwich, Chelsea. You already took a bite. I know. Take another. I wait. Yeah. This is the Cuban. You're supposed to wait till I can film you. There you go. How is it? Good. Film me then. This is the Miami. What's on that one? Turkey? Turkey, bacon, ham. Yeah, it's not good. I like some uh, lettuce and tomato and crap. So, I do wish this had more pickles. There's only like, do you even see a pickle? There's a pickle there. Okay, yeah. I need more pickles than that. What the heck? Gotta have the pickle taste. Insufficient pickle. Yeah. We did get some really dope wings that we just demolished. Some the bones. Yeah. Like my mouth is still on fire from those wings, but it was they were tasty. Your mouth's on fire from them. Yeah. They were very spicy, but they were also sweet. I don't think they were spicy. That spicy anyway. I think you're so that's wuss. the uh, taste of Havana. So yeah, I didn't film much yesterday. I think the only thing I actually filmed was us eating some Cuban food. But I wanted a day where me and Chelsea could just. TJ and Chelsea without an audience. But now it's the next day, and now we are headed towards Denver on what looks like a besiege with construction. Highway 25, Interstate 25. Hey, it's a puppy dog. Hey, puppy dog. Love a puppy dog in a way that I've never felt that way about a human instantly. You know what I mean? Never seen a human. I was like, aw, human. Nope. Not one goddamn time. It's kind of a cold day today. Uh, Colorado, of course, being famous for its wildly swinging temperatures. 80 yesterday, 40s today. What are you gonna do? Anyway, we are headed to Denver. But we're not stopping in Denver yet. We're gonna go ahead and bypass Denver for the time being and head up to Fort Motherfucking. Collins. We're actually unshowered right now. Uh, you could probably, I don't know, maybe you could tell. I don't know. Yeah, we look kind of gross. We look a little grungy today. Sorry about that. Sorry we're not camera ready. Sorry we're not bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. But uh, Chelsea, you want to tell them the reason? Um, our last hotel was like really shitty, and that's totally my fault um, for choosing that place. But we just didn't want to take a shower there. <laughs> So we're like two days unshowered, so. Yeah. Um, probably should have filmed some, some of that hotel, but honestly, like. It was not good. I don't even want to be, I didn't even, I don't even want to be mean to them because it feels like they really think they got something good. Yeah. And I almost feel bad. I, I don't want to like use my channel to like hit talk or bad mouth because they, they're pretty nice up there. And, like, the dude that checked us in was really friendly and stuff. But, like, man, that hotel sucks. Not for me, anyway. You know what? If you're into that hippy-dippy bullshit, maybe you like it. But, like, they got, like, natural fibers, beds, and all this crap. Like, it's, like, sustainable. Like, they're, like, a big on, like, we're sustainable and everything here is so environmentally friendly and wonderful. But, um, maybe it's environmentally friendly. But it ain't wonderful. You know what I mean? It was not good on my back. That bed yeah. was so fucking lumpy and soft and like, I just, my back is killing me. Yeah, bed was about as supportive as a deadbeat dad. All right, we're at the Oak, DC Oaks. There you go. Brew house and eatery. Here is some salmon dip. I'm gonna try it on this cracker. Oh yeah, good smoky flavor. Cool. Yep. Do you like your beer? Yeah, it's good. It's a pilsner. It's very crisp. Not a whole lot of flavor, but I didn't really want that. I just wanted something that was crisp and refreshing. Cool. All right. Chef's got the steak salad. Yeah. I thought it was the all steak. Oh, really? I they didn't have lettuce in there. Like steak with mayonnaise or yeah. something <laughs> gross? What? How's that gross? It's a petite filet on top of a salad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I got my uh, sausage platter here. 
Yeah, those are like apple grilled chutney. apples. Yeah, it's a chutney, right? Oh, okay. Yeah, and that's mashed potatoes and some Ooh. kind of sauce. And then there's uh, two uh, cheesy sausages. Yeah, and, and then of course... The most important thing here is delicious here. Let me tell you. TJ loves his tots. I do. I know. Look at this. They got ranch. They got some homemade ranch. Good stuff. Alright, let's see you eat that sausage. It's got some spiciness to it. It's spicy? Uh-huh. Cool. You like it? Yeah, it's good. Awesome. Alright. I feel instantly less drained than I was. Yeah, we haven't eaten all day and it's like four or something and we were driving for two and a half hours, so. We're at... Never stop recording, Chelsea. Mary's Mountain Cookies, Mary's right? Mountain Cookies. Oh my God, I want to mount Mary's Cookies. Gross. Mm. Okay. Let me tell you something. I was at a restaurant. You saw it. I had sausage. Put the picture up. There it is. You like the sausage. I could have finished that meal. I didn't. I have a sausage in the back. And the reason I didn't eat that other sausage is because I was thinking the whole time, I want cookies. I want cookies. I want cookies. I want cookies. And I just saw a big fat bitch come out of the cookie shop too, so I know it's good. Because fat people know good Several cookies. Several fat people. Yeah. And now two more fat people to walk the fuck in. So let's yeah, go. Yeah, let's go. It's pure sugar. <laughs> There's a hundred percent nothing but sugar. I'm going to do I'm going to lay down and I'm going to hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. You think it's alive? Uh, I don't know. I would assume it's probably not. Unless there's an opera singer in the parking lot of the 7-Eleven. Well, I never really thought opera and 7-Eleven went together, but... It works. <laughs> I stand corrected. I feel like I'm in a Stanley Kubrick movie. Right. Eat your friggin' pancakes. Let's see how they stack up. <laughs> they don't really stack up. They kind of like tear them. <laughs> Seems like they're falling apart. They're not very cohesive, I know that much. They are really good though. Yeah? I don't believe you. The pancake itself is like really sweet. Uh uh. I'm probably not getting it, but. What do you think? Mmm, yeah, that's really good. It is good. Yeah. <laughs> what birthday was it? I don't remember what birthday it was. You just fucking remember. <laughs> what was it? You were 13, you were 14, you were 15? No, I was older than that. 16? I was probably like. 17. Alright, you're 17 years old. Sure. I'm turning you're sassy, 17. You're a sassy ass teenage girl. Yeah. It's your birthday. Where do you want to go? The Olive Garden. Okay. <laughs> you have an Italian family, right? Partially. Partially, yeah. Yeah. In New Jersey. In New Jersey, where there's a we ton were, of Italian food. We were all in New Jersey at this time. Yeah. Um, so there was plenty of good Italian food places to eat at. Right, but and you don't want none of that. You want Olive Garden. Yeah, <laughs> I wanted Olive Garden for my birthday, so I basically forced all of them to go to Olive Garden, even though they did not want to at all because it has a terrible reputation, like for obvious reasons, but especially amongst Italian people. So <laughs> they hated me already for that. And then my snobby ass teenage self <laughs> was condescending as Yeah, well. like while they're choking down this yeah. horrible slop at Olive Garden. They're eating this trash Italian food with no flavor. And I'm like, honestly, I like chain restaurants better than these mom and pop places. And like everybody just like looked at me. Like, <laughs> they, they, <laughs> you could tell they wanted to tell me off so fast bad but they didn't only because it was my birthday if it was any other day they totally would have chewed me new asshole. but they didn't they reluctantly were just like okay um, <laughs> i was like it's a chain for a reason so it's a chain for a reason yeah that was my line you thought like the restaurant industry was like a meritocracy basically yeah like yeah. chain the more like 
places you see them, but the better it is, right? Cause yeah. Like, why else? Would Obviously, because than... why else? Yeah, why else? Yeah. <laughs> So, you trolled your whole Italian family, dude. Yeah, and they, could, uh, they, and they didn't, couldn't say anything. Mm -hmm, oh, it's so beautiful. They didn't say anything. It was oh, great. Oh, man, I love it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's too good. That's my story. Hey, TJ. <laughs> so we're walking around Denver. Looks really nice. It's a beautiful day. The last few days have been, like, really gross and awful. And we were about to leave today, honestly. But then I looked outside and saw how pretty it was and was like, I really think we should stay another day in Denver and check it out and explore the city. So that's what we're gonna do. So the first time that we came to Denver, like 2017, I think, um, we stayed at the hotel by the art museum so that we could go to the art museum and they were closed like the whole time we were here so <laughs> i've been determined to go back there and right this wrong so that's what we're planning on doing hopefully it's a good art museum it's really big we have a lot of film in there too <sighs> yeah i'm sure we can get away with it because many will not yeah well whatever it's fine. So, uh, I guess that's the update for now. Alright, it's Chelsea's first time at Whataburger. It's a Whataburger. Whataburger. So first I want to point out like how ginormous this is. It's like compared to yeah. my head. Yeah. Like it barely fits in our cup holders. Yeah, that's how drinks should be. So. Welcome to America, bitch. This is a bacon and cheese Whataburger. Okay. It's very heavy. Super heavy. That's like a fucking pancake. <laughs> Look at that. It's huge. It's a pancake sized burger. It's huge, dude. I that's, got a double of those. That's insane. Okay, let's try. I'm gonna fucking die. She likes it. I already know. <laughs> I don't even yeah, need her to good. speak. She's just like, All right. when her head I went get like, the hype. <laughs> I get the hype. We just stopped at an IHOP not too long ago. Grab a little, uh, little breakfast food. Um, so anyway, we're in the IHOP, we overhear these two waitresses talking, and one waitress is like, you know, they're like, oh, she, you know, she having a baby, he got, can you believe he got her pregnant? And like, we both kind of like perk up, like, ooh, juicy gossip about people that don't matter to us in a town we'll never be at again, what's going on here? And then the next thing we fucking hear, the next nugget of information is like, What's that baby gonna call him? Uncle Daddy? Daddy Uncle? We're like, whoa. <laughs> okay, it gets juicier still. So apparently, yeah, like she's sleeping with uh, 
with the brother of her husband or whatever. And well, hey, I'm getting to that. That's the next part. Don't fucking spoil it. Jesus. They're twins. That's the fucking yeah. <laughs> it's twins. Some fucking buddy that we don't know in a town we don't care about. In Texas. In Texas. That's important. Someone is married to one twin, but fucking the other twin, and is pregnant by the other twin, and is gonna have a kid that's gonna have to call them baby uncle daddy or daddy uncle or whatever the fuck. <laughs> no, I don't know, man. Cucked by your twin brother is fucking classic. Someone write that down. Hey, yo. Damn, son of a bitch. Hey, hey Salvador. Hey. You got a ball already? I was just like, play ball with me. Hi. Hey, y'all. Hey. Hey. Yeah, we'll just do that in a minute. We don't feel like doing that yet. Right. Salvador. Bye. Hey, Stevie. Welcome back. I missed you. Hey. Welcome back. Thank you. I hope it's clean enough. Salvador, give me the ball. Hey. Give me the ball. Oh. Hey, buddy. Salvador. Salvador. Oh, my God. <laughs> we missed you too, bud. Why does it feel so weird to be here? Yeah, I don't know. I'm like, who is this dog? <laughs> hey, Corn Pop. Remember me? Remember me, Corn Pop? Oh, yeah, you remember. Remember? Yeah. Hey, Speedy. Well, All right. It. Well, we're back. We're back. Why does it look weird? I don't know. Let's look around. Okay. Maybe because we've been in hotel rooms, like the house is so big. Yeah, it's like gargantuanly huge. Holy shit. Like, here we are, back in our palatial mansion.